Hi, I'm Ryan, and I wanted to share my brilliant idea with you. Um, like many other musicians, I have these Ultimate Ears um, in-ear monitors. And these are great. These are absolutely great because um, I can be on stage playing and I don't have to worry about the wedge monitors um, that I have to blast at super loud volume and damage my ears. So with these, I just plug into my wireless, uh, my wireless monitor pack, and then I'm able to have my direct monitor mix from the mixers directly into my ears and have it at a much lower volume, which allows me to save my hearing. Um, like many gigging musicians, though, I don't always just have my setup. Um, I'm sometimes using the house setup. and. And so I was struggling with an idea, wondering uh, what I can do to use these everywhere I go. Uh, right now, due to an injury, I've got a little bit extra time on my hands, and I wanted to do this as cheaply as possible, so I just used um, basically spare parts that I have sitting around the garage. Uh, not, not everybody's gonna have these spare parts, but uh, what I did was I made a transportable uh, in-ear monitor mix. And let me show you what I mean. So this is 100% a prototype. It's not pretty, um, but what I wanted to do was, like I said, use as, uh, as much existing equipment as I had. Um, the other thing that I wanted to be cautious of was when I am taking it from point A to point B, I didn't want any anything metal to scratch the inside of my car because you get your gear stuffed in there and everything. So what I did is I stuffed it and wired it all into this case. Now this is a this is an old Pelican case. You can use Pelican. That's just what I had, but you can use any of the cases that are that are available that are this style. So you open it up. And we see here my, <laughs> my prototype arrangement. So I have the, the Shure uh, PSM Personal Stage Monitor 300 transmitter right here in the case. I have my ultimate ears and then some various things. And I'll show you how I, how I set this up here. So starting from the outside, I added I put a power jack in there to make it really easy, and I use a universal power jack. And I've got this little weatherproof little stopper. This is the only thing that I had to buy. Everything else I had on hand, and these were, these were I think twelve bucks for a ten pack, really cheap. Um, but I put it in the inside of these grooves here, so that way when it's in my car and it were to bump up against anything, it wouldn't knock this out and it wouldn't scratch. Over here. I put a couple TRS jacks because I wanted stereo input. So this can be this can be the the line out from your whatever board that you're using, whether it's your own board or whether it's a house board. Uh, so just quarter inch TRS there, and again just inside of inside of this, so that's not scratching anything up. So we open it up, and um, first of all, I'll show you. There's the transmitter, as I had said before. And then this is the wireless body pack that uh, that just clips to my belt. And then the in-ear monitors plug into here. So we have from the, the quarter inch TRS from these, I've got them going, coming in here and I just put this little, this little cord thing around it. Hot, hot glued that in place just to isolate the, the wires so they don't get hit by anything else. Then I ran ran them into the back with these uh, these screw down um, quarter quarter inch. So those went into there. Now the the PSM three hundred came with an extension cable for the for the antenna, which we see right here. So I ran the extension cable there and then underneath here and hot glued it all into place coming up right here. So you see again that it's within this. So this metal is not gonna scratch anything in my car. And then 
when I need it, I just pop this antenna out and it's a Balin connection. So just pop it into place and there you go. The power cable, which is right tucked away right here, goes into the back and it's live. Sometimes uh, the mixer that you're using only has only has um, XLR out. So you could either get an XLR cable to quarter inch or do like me and just get these adapters. So I can plug those into the back and then XLR from the board to, to my case here. Um, and then the power, um, the PSM 300, it's got its own power supply. So I just put some Velcro or hook and loop, whatever you want to call it, some industrial strength on there to put it to the side and tuck the cables in there. And then um, I just combined, uh, combined the wiring. Yeah, that part's pretty simple. You can figure that part out. Um, I had some extra foam around. Now this is a part that, that I will definitely do different if I ever make another one of these. Uh, I used a router for, for a lot of these cutouts. Um, a Dewalt router, which was definitely overpowered for this. So what I would do in the future is use a, um, a f some foam cutting tools. But anyway, I just had all of these spare pieces of foam. They're actually different types of foams. Um, so I just, I hot glued them all into place. And then I used some, uh, what's it called? Some, some Plasti Dip spray. And then I, I taped up all the wires because I didn't want to paint any of that. But after it was hot, ever all the foam was hot glued into place, I removed the components that I could, taped up the wires, and then I sprayed it all with a couple coats of Plasti Dip just to give it a uniform color. Um, it really means nothing because nobody's ever going to see this but me. But um, here we have the cutout for the Ultimate Ears case. So really, it is a portable uh, in-ear monitor solution that you can hook into your own system or then, like I said, take it to a house system uh, or to any gig that you play and use the house system. Easy to carry. And then once again, all of the connection, uh, everything outside that's gonna hit anything is plastic and anything that isn't plastic or is fragile is tucked away. So I hope this helps give you an idea what you can do and uh, good luck.